Did you just fucking fall? Did you just, babe, come open this door up. Hey, hey. I tripped. <laughs> gotcha, babe. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trill. We're gonna jump straight into it. Um, we're gonna discuss my streaming setup slash gaming setup on console. Um, for the console, I'm running the Xbox One X. Um, we got two Dell 27 inch 4K monitors. Those are for the PC. I have one LG 27 inch 440p monitor that also is connected to the PC, but the primary job of that monitor is for gaming um, on the Xbox. It is a 165 hertz, you can overclock to like 180. I just switched over to a tri monitor setup. I was running dual before. Um, what else do we have here? A $300, it's, it's down, it's down over there. But it's like a $300 COVID built PC. I built it in 2020. All right, so spec wise, it was similar to this piece of shit computer here, like a $50 black case, nothing too crazy. So I never took any pictures, but it was like the cousin of this pretty much. So it was a budget built COVID PC, but I will be upgrading PCs next year. Going to be running about a $2,500 built PC then. Um, For audio, I'm running a Fifine mic and board. I got a, you know, mic arm, make things a little easier in terms of like, depending on where I'm sitting at when I'm recording a video, like whether I'm facing the camera recording this way or if I'm looking at you guys streaming and playing the game this way, just the mic arm is way more convenient in terms of flexibility and if I want to adjust my chair more in or out and having that sound quality there still while I'm, I'm moving around in the room. For game card capture for the HD60X Elgato, at first, I will say this, definitely do your research or just don't get frustrated when you're first setting your Elgato up. It can be a little uh, kind of buggy. And for running 1440p on the Xbox at 120 hertz, I had to go pull a special custom file offline that someone already reached out to Elgato for because they were having issues also where 120 hertz will only do 1080. So when you are setting up your Elgato, it works great, it's fine as soon as you get it fine tuned and their support is amazing from what I've heard. All my answers and questions I've had, I've found online pretty much that I could have thought of myself. Uh, but uh, overall, it's a great capture card for the budget. Um, what else do we have? For <laughs> a streaming camera, Discord and webcam, I actually am running an iPad. Now, I need y'all to do me a favor and hear me out. Any old Apple product you have or MacBook even would be a great webcam or a camera source for OBS when you're streaming or Streamlabs. And I say that because the camera quality in these small little phones and tablets and shit is unmatched for anything you can get price-wise for under $300. Use that Apple product if you have it. We're on a budget for that, you know? So we don't ball on everything. We do try to save money sometimes. But I'm running an iPad, old iPad, like an iPad. I don't even remember. Like it came out, I don't know, probably fucking 2019 or something like that. Running an iPad through the OBS app, connected with USB-C to the PC. Um, Very low latency, I love it. I try to use this camera right here. It's a Lumix, Lumix's latency sucks ass on HDMI, it's horrible. And then software wise, we're running OBS, Discord, and Wondershare. Wondershare is my editor from like small clips and stuff like that. Um, obviously Discord to talk to the homies. And sometimes if you'll notice my gameplay and this portion, yeah, this portion of the gameplay, it'll be me and all the homies on Discord, kind of like a big Discord party. And I'm including everyone's camera and cam face in there, especially in Warzone, because you die sometimes, it take a while to come back because you're watching your homie or teammate play. And this, what I've kind of found, especially from posting on Instagram, is y'all like the facial reactions to everyone that's playing the game and whatnot. Um, y'all seem to fuck with it, so y'all like it, I love it. Um, OBS is what I'm using for stream software. Uh, it's it's great. I was streaming on Twitch and YouTube at first, but I just jumped over to YouTube only. One, because I noticed I'm starting to get, I was getting a little more traffic and traction on YouTube versus Twitch being like a new streamer or whatnot. Um, and on top of uploading YouTube videos on the regular, like it's just easier just to do everything and manage everything all through YouTube. And then being on YouTube only, I was able to bump my streams up to 4K. So that's another benefit. What else we have for a setup here? I did a decent wire tuck slash management job. I'd give it like a seven out of 10 in terms of how nice it is. It was my first time like trying to clean up wires and whatnot when I moved into my apartment. Uh, why is she laughing? Uh, for the internet, we're doing like a gig up. Um, AT&T, it supports the Xbox in terms of gameplay. My ping is pretty decent by myself, around 20 usually all the time. Um, if I'm in a party, it'll vary because everyone else's internet, you know, you gotta take into account. Um, I'm streaming to two services. Well, I was streaming to two services, no lag in the internet. I had Twitch and YouTube, that takes up a lot of internet. Uh, we got a few ring cameras in the house. And then 
plus my girl and then the little one they be scrolling through the phones and shit and watching whatever they got going on while i'm gaming and it doesn't drop it's good it's good enough for now um i can see the usage though i can check the usage it's not peaking but it's up there but a gig should suffice if you're like by yourself or whatever like i said i talked about it and i'm gonna show you all the setup pc um into the hdmi for that speaker right up there not speaker headphones my bad um power strip another power strip usb cord to the controller three monitors i told you about p fine mic i love it so i'm over here gaming we got it from this angle when i'm right here i'm talking to you all facing you all we got it right here from this angle ipad i told you about that i'm using as a webcam soundboard um capture card right back there capture card here goes the xbox everything's wired nice and clean bundled up same thing for this one wires are bundled and they run back there nice and clean one big cord same thing for this one wires are indeed bundled and run back there one big nice cord um this is the setup i fucking love it this is my five gigabyte splitter this is the wiring job that is a usb splitter high speed comes over across the desk over here drops onto the pc it's a fuck ton of things wired into the pc that is a switch for the light I have behind the uh, PC monitor right there. Drop down for power on this side. Everything will drop down for power over there on that side. Behind that. But if you step back from afar, that's why I give it a 7 out of 10. Because if you're standing right here, everything looks overall well managed. and not too, not too jumbled up. Who's cute, huh? You think this is cute? You think me editing videos is cute? Recording is cute? This is why I don't like doing this when you're right here. Because you're calling me cute. Come over here, look at me in my eyes. You think it's cute? You think this manly, manly ass review slash setup entertainment video is cute? You think me showing these people this stuff is cute? You think it's cute, huh? You think I'm cute? The way that you're talking. Manly. Ah. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna show you today's setup. Cute. What's cute? You're cute. A little tight ass is cute. Yeah. Anyway. um. Y'all want some gameplay? Y'all can check some gameplay out. Right, right here, 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 here. Some gameplay. Go check some other videos out on the channel. Peace.